This time I'm going to show you how I sorted out a plan for my books and my tablets when I needed to see information on them while I'm cooking or doing anything else. Okay, so the design of this book stand or recipe book stand is, is fairly simple. I've basically taken a piece of a bookshelf. This is a reclaimed bookshelf. This is a laminated pine wood. Um, it's taken some beating as you can see over time, but we're going to repurpose this piece now today. Now, the piece that I've selected for the backboard of the book stand is about 30 centimeters by 20 centimeters. And what this basically is, is it's about the size of an A4 piece of paper, if you look at it like that. Now, the main idea is of an A4 piece of paper is that if you've got like a A5 booklet like this, that it would easily be able to be open on a page like this or on a piece like this, as well as an A4 booklet basically being able to stand on it and there's only a slight overhang of the book on either side, on both sides, and that would be fine. Now you'll see I'm leaving a little bit of a gap open at the bottom here because the idea of the bottom is I'm going to make a little L, like an elbow that's going to fit on there, and that's going to be like a little hook for the book to stand on, or the tablet to stand on, whatever you wish to put onto this thing. And then at the back of this unit, they will make a little foot stand or a little stand a foot piece that will make it be able to stand steady upright and uh, we'll get to that in a little bit so first thing i'm going to have to do is i'm going to cut this piece on the 30 centimeter line here you'll see that on the top side here it's got a bit of an edge now the option there is to leave the edge there or to cut it off cut it straight and um, we'll see what i feel like when i get there now at the moment i'll probably leave this as is but i'll leave it at the top side so i'll make the bottom side of the book stand the plain square side that's looking like this no funny roundovers or anything so let me cut this and i'm also going to cut the little foot piece off the bottom it's going to be two pieces of wood one for upright and one for on top of that which would be a little nice hook foot piece for the book to stand on so let me cut these off and we'll come back when i assemble them well like you can see i've now cut this piece of board um I've left the little edging that it had on the top. I think that makes for a nice finish. Now, I did personalize this a bit, um, but only a little bit up to now. I put my initials in the front corner there. I merely printed a stencil um, from the computer. I cut it out, and I, I, with a sponge, gave it a bit of a textured look with a with a, a normal can of paint. Not spray paint. It's a normal can of paint with a sponge. Gave it a textured look. Now, the front part of it that's going to hold the book or the other items is two pieces of wood that I've put together, screwed together at the bottom with two screws. Now the idea of this is to be put at the bottom. You can see from the side like so. It's a bit shorter than the wooden piece on top, just so that it doesn't go from edge to edge. And it's going to be screwed on the bottom like that, like you can see from the back side, and that will hold your books and everything in place. And then for the foot piece at the back, in order to keep this upright, I looked around my scrap wood pile and I just came on to some off, off cuts. Now this was, it was a normal piece of wood and obviously I cut some round shape objects, two of them from this. Now what I did is because this had a flat bottom, I figured I can just cut an angle at the one short edge here and this can be used as my foot edge. So I'm going to put this down like so and put the board up against it like that and that would be then attached with a screw from the front and some wood glue of course or from the back i'll probably do it from the back be less intrusive than from the front let me show you what it looks like from the back like that and that will then be the foot piece very useful piece or a uh, purpose for a piece of off cut wood never in my life did i think that i was going to use that um, piece especially for something like this so let me attach that and the front edge to the front of the board and then for the rest of the space on the board here i've got a slightly different plan but we'll get to that as soon as i've assembled the rest well there you've got the assembled one nicely put together if you look from the side you can clearly see the front space where you hook the book in or you put the book in you can see the foot piece from the back where i've attached it to the screw and some wood glue of course and this makes it nice and steady it is a very Steady, nice looking book. Now, well, here you can see the fully assembled and sort of finished product. Now, like you can see, apart from the personalization I did, I did stick some informational charts or 
or pieces of paper on there basically now this is with the idea of it being a cookbook stand there's some oven temperature differences between fahrenheit and celsius and some um, liquid volume comparisons and different uh, measures and so on but uh, this was only attached to this wooden board with some double-sided adhesive tape with the idea being you can remove it anytime and um, leave it off or you can replace it with something else should your necessities change or your interests change now this being a more or less a4 size stand like you can see with an a4 piece of book like that you can open it this is obviously not a cookbook but you can open it nice and big a4 stand for an a4 piece of paper or an a4 book it houses it nice even though the book is bigger than the stand it is very steady and sturdy and you can nice and clearly read what it says on it um, what the other idea or purpose of the stand is as well is should you have say for instance a tablet of some sort that you want to put on there with a recipe or you want to watch a program or story you can do that as well like you can see it fits very nice on there as well so you can have this on hand every time so if you do like this idea and you like the video be sure to like it and also if you haven't subscribed yet please consider do so i am dion i hope you found value in this video see you next time